this is the first official episode of Mankato Home Tours. Thanks for joining. This is Andrew Kolars, a realtor with Realty Executives. Uh, he's our first official guest, and we're going to be talking to him a little bit about his background and why he uses photography and video in his listings. So, Andrew, thanks so much for coming on. Thanks for having me, Drew. Yeah, how do you feel sure. about this? This is, is comfortable for you? Yeah, or? This is exciting. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's very official in here. I yeah, love it. I love it. So uh, Andrew's been using, you've been using mm-hmm. professional photography with Mankato Home Tours since 2011. Actually, you were our agent and you were, I remember the story where you were driving around in a car and I, we were talking and I was telling you how all the photos that I was seeing were just, it's really hard to tell what houses look nice due to the photos. So I think from, from there we talked about doing photos for you and you've been doing them ever since. So Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that is... One of the things when it comes to uh, selling a home, you know, with over 90% of people starting their search online, and that's been a statistic probably now for a while, uh, if you don't have good photos, I think you're, you're kidding yourself and you're definitely not doing any justice for your, you know, for my client in mm-hmm. regards to, uh, especially with smartphones these days, anyone can come in and take a photo and, and granted they take a pretty nice photo, but I'm not a photographer, uh, you are. <laughs> Uh, so uh, true. it's, it's <laughs> right. So uh, it's all about um, I think bringing a higher level of professionalism and service to the client, for sure. So, so how, talk about your background with real estate. I know you've been doing it for quite a while. How did you like? What's your background? How did you get into real estate? Sure, you bet. Um, so uh, I sold uh, radio uh, ads at uh, Radio Mankato, which it's called now, um, for about five years. And one of my clients uh, was a real estate broker in town. Uh, and he hit me up two or three different times uh, year after year said maybe you should sell real estate and I said no no I'm good thanks you know and it was always intriguing well after the third time I went back and talked to my wife and I said well, maybe I should should look into this um, and that's kind of where it all uh, came into play so that was uh, in early 2002 when mm-hmm. I got my license so it's going on 16 years of me being in the business now well wow, okay so, and it was 2011 when we were looking for a home. So you've been using photography since 2011. What were you doing before photography for your marketing? Were you just doing like traditional print marketing or what, what were you doing? Well, if anything, yeah, right. No. Uh, yeah. When I first started out, I guess I was kind of doing what, what everyone else was doing in a sense. And it's not to, to slam, you know, other methods of it, but, uh, there was a lot of print going on. Um, there was uh, plenty of print going on, uh, open houses as, as you're newer, but, uh, I just found that I didn't really get, uh, the bang for my buck per se, you know, from the print ads, from a small little uh, black and white photo with maybe three or four lines of text. It just didn't deliver what I think uh, consumers and as things progressed with online stuff um, had. So I, I kind of cut all of that out. And then the uh, the friendship that we had uh, and, and, and working with you and knowing you were a photographer just kind of went hand in hand and, and it uh, hasn't stopped since. And the nice thing that it, about you is you've been willing to let me experiment with different things. So as I started my business, Andrew allows me to, uh, or has allowed me to, and still allows me to like try different things. So, you know, originally it started out with just photography, but I think it was August of 20, 2011 when we started doing photography. And then it was November, 2012, we started doing video. So I, I remember it did take you a while to decide whether or not video would work for you but I think like I remember we did one for IOTA yep. and it was like it was horrible I, I'm gonna play it wasn't of that it. bad it was pretty bad but I'm, <laughs> if I still have it I'm gonna play a clip of it here um, but uh, you know I, I think it was a year after that we started doing uh, actual videos and you've done videos for every single one of your listings since so absolutely yeah it, it did it did take a, a while for me to to warm up to that idea only because you know, the photography is amazing, by the way, and I've I've never had a client ever say, "Oh, well, let's not use those photos." And you're kind of your 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 own worst critic in a sense that you've gone back and actually taken different photos of exteriors or uh, other photos that you didn't like that I thought looked just fine. You know, so uh, but yeah, you did iota. That was the very first one, and I thought it was fine. If you're going to show a clip, uh, uh, insert clip here. <laughs> just kidding. But then you also did uh, Atwood. Mm-hmm. Like the same day or the next day, and to this day, is still one of my favorite ones. And maybe it was because it was the real first one that we had. But I still use it in my listing presentations and show people. Mm-hmm. Uh, and most people are saying, "Well, my house isn't going to look like that." And I assure them that it would, uh, because there's a little thing that I like to call, and my clients that are watching this know, 
called Kolar's Boot Camp. Uh, <laughs> I haven't even heard of this. Let's talk. You what's, haven't. What's Kolar's Boot Camp? It's just Kolar's. getting ready. I mean, you got to get ready to get ready. Right? Okay, Otherwise, yeah. people are just getting ready to get ready all the time. But there, there's, there's an expectation uh, just from the conversations that I have with my clients is that the house needs to be photo ready. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm not going to come in and just snap photos and make you sign paperwork right then and there. There's, there's a process to it, and you have to get ready to move because you're going to move your stuff and clean your closets and, and do different things and the common courtesies that sellers do for their buyers that you would expect if you were buying a home, uh, either before the listing and to, to shine uh, a better light right in the public's eye, or you're going to do it after you try to sell your home with all the other stuff involved. So it's a little bit of Kolar's boot camp, and we'll leave it, we'll leave it with that. I, I did, well, you've listed our house uh, before, and I, I do know that it was... Luckily, I had been shooting house for a while, so I kind of knew what the expectation sure. was. So you didn't, I didn't have to go through the boot camp. You cheated a little. Yeah. So um, you've done, I, I, I counted them before we started, 149 total listings with me using professional photography. And about, I think, I, I forgot the number for video, but about 114 maybe videos. So okay. the majority of my video work that I've done has come from you. I want to know, since you started using video, why have you, why have you chosen to use video for... Uh, every one of your listings. I mean, that's it's it's not super expensive, but it is a large expense. It does add up. But why is why is it worth the investment for you? Uh, it's 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 all about uh, serving my client. Uh, that that's the bottom line is is giving them something else that uh, is is readily available. You know, to be able to um, make them look better, right? To get people into the home. Uh, photos are one thing, right? Video is another. Um, if you've got a mom or a brother out state, uh, a friend that you really trust, but they couldn't couldn't be there to walk through the house because buying a house is a big decision, that video, in in a sense, um, allows these people to walk through the home just as if you, you were doing it. Especially with some of these new techniques and everything that you're using, which is fantastic. So the bottom line is, I use it on every single listing, regardless of the price who you are, where you live, what style of home it is, because every client I treat the same. And if I might add uh, to your last question in regards to the video um, and kind of getting to know the property, you, you did a wonderful video uh, on me and, and my family years back mm. where I've also utilized in my uh, getting to know the new client and or a new prospect or, or whatever and also on my website, andrewcolars.com. And it's a few years old now, but it's been a great tool to pass along to new clients uh, or past clients that maybe haven't seen the video to kind of do a little introduction as to who I am and why I do what I do. Yeah, I didn't even think, I forgot about, well, I knew that, I remember that we had done it and I I have encouraged others to do it, but what kind of, what kind of feedback have you got or like what kind of things have you heard having that video? So we're talking about the the video that Andrew, it's like what, three or four minutes long and it shows Andrew and his family like on a, on a regular day, uh, I believe it was in the fall, a couple years back Mm -hmm. and. You know, your whole family is in it, and yeah, it, it really just talks about your philosophy behind why you do business the way you do it. Um, but w- what kind of things specifically have come out of that for you? Oh, initially when people watched the video, um, it was really overwhelming um, to the point when I, when I first watched it, you know, and I'm human, right? And uh, uh, it brought tears to my eyes uh, just to see. You're getting a little teary out right now. <laughs> well, listen, man. I mean, it's, it's my family, and I, yeah. I uh, family, you know, is, yeah. is huge yeah. for me. Uh, but it came to a point when you were even recording it that I had to leave the room when the girls were, <laughs> yeah, were talking. I but remember that. Yeah. The feedback has been has been was tremendous uh, initially, and I still get a few comments here and there. Especially, uh, I think ultimately, in the, at the end of the day, um, it is a nice, warm welcome uh, or an introduction to someone that there's so many agents that you can choose from, and that's an awesome op- option for people. Mm-hmm. But to have a video that uh, basically uh, allows them, if they want to watch for the three minutes it is, to kind of get to know me before they actually have to meet me. And it's been wonderful. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, so what we're going to do with all of these episodes is at the end, we're going to do some kind of giveaway. I'm not sure if we did, we... did we talk about this? Yeah, I'd love to get something Okay. Like that. All right. Uh, all we ask you to do is comment, like, and share this video to everybody that, you know, on your feed through Facebook. And we're going to pick a random winner at the end of the week or maybe next week. I'm not sure. Um, we haven't figured out that yet, but there will be a winner picked. And somebody is going to win something that Andrew is going to give away. So, Andrew, do you have anything in mind that you'd like well, to Well, actually, I, I, I'm going to up that, Andy, because it is the first show yeah. that you've done. Right. 
uh, and I might, uh, if I'm ever uh, welcomed back, I would do the same, but uh, I'm actually going to have two different prizes. So two oh. different people are going to win a uh, $50 gift card to uh, their place of uh, anywhere they want, a restaurant or a store here in, in the Mankato, North Mankato area. If I can drive to it in town here, uh, that's what we'll do for them. So. Whoa. Exciting, right? I don't even know what to say. Is there a link down below where they can click or anything like that? Uh, uh, there'll be a link somewhere. Uh, okay. But all, all you really need to do is comment, like, and share <laughs> this with, with all of your following. So leave a comment. Um, leave something genuine. You know, don't, you know, come on, guys. Seriously. Leave something genuine and nice and thoughtful. Or uh, We kind of just want to hear your feedback on this show, what you think of it. If you have any questions for Andrew, you can leave any kind of comment you want in there. Just keep it clean. Uh, and then please share it. Uh, we're we're, we're going to rely on you guys to share this so other people can see it. And uh, you will win. You and somebody else will win a $50 gift card anywhere you want in the area. As long as it's within driving distance, you'll have it. So <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. All you have to do is like, comment, and share. And if you would, also like our pages. Uh, whoever's watching this, come and like our, our Facebook pages. And, uh, you know, kind of follow along, dig around, and see what we're doing. I, uh, my personal Facebook page... I'm, I'm just now starting to actually use it. Uh, you can also visit my website at MankatoHomeTours.com, AndrewKolars.com. And, yeah, let us know what you thought about everything. Thanks so much for tuning in. And, Andrew, thanks for coming on. Jordan, thanks for having me. Appreciate it.